Monroe and Sarah are both here. That would be Eli yeah. and Becky. And look at them. They're so cute. So we'll have to ask, of course, about Eclair and what's next for them. And we'll find out whether Beck and Jen are the next it couple at Degrassi. Look who is here, everybody. Monroe and Sarah. Hello. Hi. Here Hi. you are. Whoa. Oh. Something. I know, I know, I know. They're really excited that you guys are both here. Let's get into this right away because Monroe, we already saw an episode of uh, a sneak peek of next week's episode where Drew and Claire are getting closer, more close than before. We'll show you again that clip and at the wet, end of the show, wet, so don't worry. Wet. Yeah, and they're wet and they're naked. And so, I mean, basically Showing everyone's skin. just like, please ask Monroe about Eclair. So what is to come of Eclair after this? I don't they know. They back their breakup. The, with, Who is this? I don't know about that. Well, they're showing some skin. They're not afraid to be in the same vicinity, not wearing clothes. I don't know. I think they're getting really close. I think Eli did a bad thing. We already know that. And I think that... Well, what's the future for Eclair? I don't know. Will Drew get in the way of that? Well, you know what uh, I don't like, Drew. though, is how you're just never around. We just never see well, Eli, well. which makes me think you're just getting school. it on with Lenore. I'm getting an edumacation. <laughs> edumacation? You're with not your... getting some Lenore? <laughs> All right, well. Oh. Are we going to see more of her? Uh, Lenore, you'll see her in the web series. Okay. In, in the webisodes, but in the show, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll we, see. We don't want to see more of her, do we? I don't think so. <laughs> She's very oh, nice. forever. <laughs> She's very nice, I'm sure. Okay, you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. We got to ask you about Becca Jen, because last time we were here, we asked you, uh, and she thinks Becca Jen's ship's going to sail. We predicted I it. I think yeah? she's... She's Happening. been smoking some. No, but don't. Candy. Okay. But I would rather know if Sarah thinks like uh, there was flirting going on there. What do you think? I no. mean, I think they're friendly. <laughs> yeah, that's um, <laughs> So I mean, it's just girls being friends, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I think they both really need a good friend right now, and I think that's as of right now, that's all it is. But I will say that there is a dance. And there may be a bit of uh, slow dancing, a little something, something. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. She just told us. I don't think they tell us something. I didn't answer anything. Who's to say? But uh, <laughs> yeah, no. Hope it's not like this. Like we're right. yeah, yeah, awkward. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we of course creeped your social media, Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff. I gotta ask you something. You mm. opened for Maroon Five. What? Oh. <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> tell it's us not, everything. It's not I, I do a bit of work with Kids Help Phone because I, um, I started a campaign of my own and it's called True to You and it's about like, in a quick sentence, it's just about doing what you love in life. And uh, so I started working with them and they have this massive gala called Night to Nurture, which was phenomenal and they're great people to work with. And Maroon 5 happened to be performing after. We were the only two performers, so I performed before. And then uh, they performed after. Okay. So, so we didn't even know that you sang. Yeah. Okay. We didn't even know that you sang. I sang a little bit. Where can yeah. we hear your music? <laughs> Um, if you go onto my website, sarahfisher.ca, you can see it all there. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Also, was Adam being hot? Yes or no? In person. Well, we did make eye contact, and Obviously. he's pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so, Monroe, you were as shocked as all of us when we heard about Philip Seymour Hoffman passing yeah. away, and I know he's a big influence on you because you tweeted about it. Mm. Um, so, it's always, you know, it's good to remember the good things, and he's such a brilliant actor, so I want to know specifically what were the films or the roles he played that actually were the biggest influence on you as an actor? Oh, there's so many films. Like, when it comes to, like, Along Came Polly, where it's, he's hilarious. Yeah. In that film, and then... Capote, where he won the Oscar. He's he's the master. Every like he's just he's a actor who mastered the great rage, and then he also mastered such tender moments and such like internalizing performances yeah. like Capote. He's amazing, and that's one thing that I think everyone should remember him by is his amazing performances and how humble he was and how incredible he was. Um, people go through struggles in their life, and we touch it on Degrassi, and you gotta know that doesn't define him. And it was something that he was battling. Yes. But know that he was an amazing person, and he gave amazing performances, and he'll be known as the one of the best actors of his generation. That is well cool. said. Thank you, yeah. Monroe. They'll be honoring him at the Oscars, obviously. Oh, 100%. Uh, for sure. Okay, so stick around. These guys aren't going anywhere, because we have Degrassi game night to do, and of course it's Pictionary. Yes! Monroe against Phoebe and Sarah. Do not miss this. I'm with Monroe, you are with Sarah Phoebe, yeah, and you get your second chance at Pictionary. Everyone knows how to play it. You pick a clue, you yeah. draw it, you guess. Whoever gets the most wins, and Phoebe, you get to go first because... We're yeah. winning tonight. Let's do Sarah. It. Okay, let's okay. do it. Okay, I'm picking number three. 
Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, let's do it. Uh, plus, uh, multiplication. <laughs> no, that's not multiplication. Um, uh, wind, hair, a snowman, snow, snowstorm, winter, bird plus bird, chicken, chick, bird plus bird plus what? fire, bird plus something I don't want to say. <laughs> bird, bird kill. Bird poo? Is it bird? That's not cute. a clue. Bird, 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 oh, eggs, yeah. eggs, chicken. Oh, Wait, what? Eggs? what was it? Is it supposed to be turkey duck? Oh. What? What was it supposed to be? Turkey duck. That's good. Turkey duck. The duck okay. was good. Drew got, Drew got turkey duck. Winston it's made the song. Oh, oh, I got the poo right though. Yeah. Chicken. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lauren's turn. Okay. Okay. It was fun drawing poo though. <laughs> I hope you get to do that That's really too. cute. Monroe is real quiet. Uh, oh, you got 18 seconds. She's a A nun. Is she? Yes. What? Oh, 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 oh. Who is that? Okay. Who is that? Imogen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick two. Imogen's a nun. Oh, this is it. Okay. Okay. Did you, you got watch it. the okay, episode? Okay, two. Okay. Woo! That's pretty good, eh? That was very good. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. A person. A person. Standing, curly hair. She has curly hair. It's uh, Beck and Jin. There's a baby. That is Bianca. Bia Dal oh, the baby's mom. Dal Dallas' girlfriend's mom. Dallas' mom. Dallas' mom. Dallas mom. Dallas mom. Dallas mom. Ah, you you mom. never know what you got. It's mom. She got it. It's mom. You got it. Right. See if we can do this. <laughs> it's mom? Oh, my God. I can do number 10. Okay. Number 10. Oh, we don't have much time, so he's picking number 10. Let's go. Okay. Ready? Oh, it's just under herself's underwear. <laughs> Ren? Yep, yeah, go. You go, anytime. Advertising for that bread. Um. Uh, Lauren, look over there, Lauren. Lauren, look over uh, there. The cross, hot big bird. Uh, <laughs> something at her. Fencing. Uh, baton. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, broken arm. There you go. Yeah. Woo. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Wait, is it a tie? Is it my turn again? Yeah, go, go. It's her turn. Let's see if you can win, otherwise I'm tied. Oh my god, wait, this is on Number me? Number four. Oh, no, no, no. Number four. Oh, There's no chance in hell we're no, gonna no. get this one. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna win. <laughs> like I think we got this. Plus again, what is it? A house, a it. bird, a, they didn't a get book, a book, reading, reading, read, book, <gasps> book, book. <laughs> what? <laughs> Does anyone got canoe plus book, reading, TV, TV, Degrassi. <laughs> Blizz, Very good. Good. TV. Ten seconds. After. I don't. Yeah, no. Team. Oh, whoa. Vampire Diary. Vampire Diary. Uh, oh, 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 Did I get it? What? Did I get it? Oh, my God. We're <laughs> tied again. That's crazy. Okay, get up here, guys. Oh, my God. So <laughs> oh, my God. Get up here. Before we go, we have to mention this. Awards are happening in Monroe. You are nominated for an award. Congratulations. <laughs> so I hear you're attending the Fan Zone event. People can yes. meet you. Yes. Exciting. How do we get in on that? We'd like yeah, to meet you. Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you can go to the Screen Awards website and vote for Monroe in the Fan Choice category. Dylan Everett's also nominated. So <laughs> yes, yes. And you can also vote for him. So you can vote for both of them. Isn't that good, guys? Yeah. Okay, Great. Uh, does anyone want to hear who's here next week to take us on in Degrassi Game Night? It is Luke Villain! You can go to mtv.ca slash Degrassi to get your tickets. Now, should we talk about next well, week's episode? We should. Just to clear the board, I mean, we're tied. Like, we haven't, you gotta you gotta win at a game. I know, and she told me behind the scenes that okay. she was terrible. Okay, you fine. guys had three. You guys <laughs> did three. We only did two. So we won. Okay, so but next week. <laughs> okay, no, fight about no, it. Okay. Anyway, I want to look on my team next week because I bet he's good at whatever game we're playing because he's good at everything. Seven more sleeves until we see where Andrew get wet in a bed. So, how are things with you two? Eli? Um, they've been better. I mean, I know he's in New York, but I didn't expect to feel so far away. If you, um, if you need anyone to talk to or just hang out, I'm, 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 I'm around. 